that's it. Low pass, soft touch. On this spin on the ball. Soft touch, soft touch, soft touch. Keep going forward. Girls, wait back, wait back. I want you touching the line. Nice and easy. Stretch it out, soft touch. Soft touch. What we're doing here is we're touching the ball nice and easy. And we're, we're just warming up. We're just setting the ball to area four. We use nine zones. So right now we want to take the setter out. If we're going to send the ball over, we want to take the ball to the setter. And so we do this every practice. We do this for a long time. And this is a lead up drill to our uh, pepper bump and slam, which is coming up. Make sure you make eye contact. One of the things we want our players to do is after they make a play, they want to make eye contact over here. Make eye contact with the, where the ball's coming from. Make eye contact where the ball's coming from. Stay making eye contact with Kylie. So when they transition to the end of the line, they got to make eye contact with Kylie. So this is a way that we just start touching the ball really softly. Keep a lot of movement going. We want to develop a nice soft touch. The magic bands, obviously they really, really help slow that ball down. And we want to, we're working today on, uh, our focus is putting spin on the ball. So to pass the ball, we want under spin. To attack the ball, we want toss spin. And we're going to be hitting that all day today. One of the things we want to do too is we do go to the floor, but only if we absolutely have to. So we want our players to keep their feet. So touch and keep moving. We want a very low pass. Munciana, we're... We play uh, driving the ball to the center, so we want to play a quick tempo. So we want to keep that ball nice and low and then fast. We can pass it high if we're digging. But to drive this type of ball, we want to drive it to the center. Right now, they're just touching and moving forward. Okay, what we want to do here is we want a two-hand toss, and we want to put a hand on the ball so we can put toss spin. Their goal is to hit the ball underneath the net right at their partner. Okay, ready? Go! Not trying to hit the ball hard. All we're trying to do here is put toss spin on the ball. You can never do this drill long enough. Keep going, girls. Shape your hand. It's on your left hand. Okay, what's the left hand do? Tuck it in. There you go. Make sure you tuck it in. Ball. Let's go with the follow through forward. Get your hand all the way to the net. After you hit. After you hit. After you hit, make sure your hand touches. Make sure you reach back. here is we're gonna take our just our right our left right left and jump so we want to plant that heel right left and jump and try to drive the top of uh, your head to the top of the net right left jump right left jump go right left jump right left jump right left jump right left jump just keep going so what we want to do here is make sure that they get used to just doing the close step approach. So just working on the jumping. Right, left, jump. Right, left, jump. Here we go. Right, left, jump. Everybody here is right-handed. So we have them started seated on the, on the box. They plant their right, and then they bring the left around. Right, left, very good approach. Right, left, jump. Right, left, jump. So we transition from here to a three-step approach, and then we're gonna jump on the box. Keep going, keep going. Right, left, jump. Right, left, jump. Right, left, jump. Since we want our players to attack every ball, we wanna make sure that they can do a, a two-step approach right away and just jump and hit the ball. Okay, so now, so now what they're going to do, there you go. So now they're going to do at a left, 
right, left. Okay? Yeah. Left, right, left. Thank you. Thank you. Left, right, left. Slow to fast. Left, right, left. Get up. Left, right, left. Make sure you land on the middle of the box, please. Get up. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. What we're doing now is just a lead up to Pepper. Two hand toss. The player closer to the net. They're going to execute. They're going to have a two hand toss. Step and hit. Person away from the net is going to dig and set back to the partner. And we're going to switch every five. Ready? Go. So we're just working on controlling the ball. Our focus today is on spinning the ball. Good hand there. Two hand toss. Go, 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 go. Make a play. Make a play. I see a lot of, a lot of players peppering. And that's great. But before we can go full out pepper, I like to have a good hand on the ball. Making sure that the girls know how to spin the ball. And we're not doing this for power right now. We're just doing this to make sure that they put a good hand on the ball. And of course, if we hit it, we got to dig it. Here we go. That's looking good. Just stretch it out a little bit farther. A little bit farther. Stretch out your hand after you hit. Keep going. That's better. Now hit our knee pads. Give me a good hand on the ball. Here we go. What do we do with the left hand? Okay, make sure you tuck it. Focus on the left hand also. With the left hand. Control, control, control. That looks very good, Melanie. That's... We want to make sure we never lose our feet. So if we, if we get on the floor, we're not going to control the ball, right? This should not be emergency plays. Stay on your feet. Come on. Go, go, go. One thing I like the two contacts for is very hard to miss pass the ball if you have to make the second play too. So if you make them make two plays, they're going to control the ball a lot better. So we do a lot of two, hand, or two contacts, make some move and do something else. So this is why at this age group and any age group, I like this drill, makes them more aware. Then you can lead up from here, you can lead up where they can hit that ball back to them. We just started, this is our 13th practice. So we're still, we're still working on just controlling the ball. In past years, I've used heavy balls with them, but then we had a hard time uh, receiving serves in national, at nationals. So we practice four times a week and three out of those four practice we use volley lights. And one practice a week we go to the heavy ball. We always use the, the high net. So we kept the net high. But we're using volley lights three out of the four times. So what's going to happen here is the outside attacker the, the two outside attackers, left side and right side, are going to be in base position, okay, and uh, the last two, let's go with three players, Zoe, come on up, you go in, you go in the next group. So we have an outside, left side attacker, right side attacker in base position, and we've incorporated uh, adding the movement of the left blocker. If the ball is tossed that way, okay, both players have to move together. This player is going to come up, come out to defend, okay, while this player transitions to attack. So the first ball, what we're going to do here is we're going to bump it really high and you're going to slam it, okay? So that's why we call it bump and slam. After she makes one pass, she's going to come up and do the same thing over here on this side. The next player in line is going to immediately get in there and drop off. So I'm going to be watching the off blocker movement and, and then the transition back to blocking position and back. So let's show our bump and slam drill. Here we go. Up, up, up. Take a swing. So no matter what, up, up. Quick, quick, quick. Go, get in there, MJ. Go, 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 go. Now get back up. Transition, transition. Get that ball high. Get that ball high. There we go. Hustle back, go, go, high, high, high. Okay, there we go, good. 
Quick, 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 quick. You got to get off that net quick. You got to get off that net quick. Get off that net quick. Get in there, MJ. Hit your box. And so we want every ball attack to area one. Okay, there we go. So we're going to take this ball, and anytime we're out of system, we want to take the ball high to one of the pins. High, high, high. Good. Especially at 12 and under, you gain a huge advantage if you can attack every ball. So we got to transition back. I need you, hey, I need help over there shagging from that court so balls don't come in. Move back, quick, quick. Quick, quick. So a lot of times if you set the expectation that you're going to attack everything, then you're going to have to spend a lot of time doing this and understand that they are going to make a lot of errors. But we want them to do make a lot of errors so that in the game they feel comfortable hitting the ball. So that's a great ball. And we'll come back to this drill. This is, we'll do something very similar to this drill and we'll play this ball out. So right now we're just working something we do every day for our out of system play. We don't always have to bump set and swing, we can dig and hit. And I, I think if you can do that, you get, number one, the girls are a lot more alert. And any ball that's high, they can swing at. We get free, that's a great bump set there. Close to our water break, shuttle setting. Ready? And go. So what we, what we want to do here is set the ball high and away from the net. Everybody, everybody's a setter. Go, we got to beat these people. We're way ahead. Go, 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 go. We got to catch up. We got to catch up. Go, 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 go. Put that ball in there. Ready? Go. We got to catch them up. We can't get beat by that. We need that ball so we can. I want four balls. Get that ball. Get that ball. Ah. What's the score? Thank you. Stay here. Stay here. There you go. Now go. go. Come, on, come on. Come on. There we go. We got it now. We got it now. Come on. Let's beat these chumps. Before every water break, we do our pepper lap. So pass and set. Pass, set, go around the back court. Put balls up, don't, don't, get the card, McKenzie. We're not ready for our water break yet. Let's see if we can go all the way through. So what we do here is we shuffle off the net and we sprint to the other side, okay? And at any time, move over this way, Kyle. At any time, I can throw a ball, go start again. At any time, I can throw a ball and they gotta keep this ball right back at me. Right back at me. You got to keep moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Do not stop. Ah! I need a ball. Go. 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 Do not stop. Do not stop. Go. Go. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh oh. Maybe. Maybe. Ah. Go. Ball. Maybe not. Go. There we go. 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 So we want everybody paying attention. And go. Go! Ah. Go! Don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop, maybe, maybe, maybe. Ah, go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Don't stop, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, we skipped you, ah! We skipped you, go! Oh, that's my fault. Last time, last time, go! Go, go, go! Stay low in defense, stay low, ball. Go, go, stay low in defense, stay low in defense. Stay low and defend. Come on, ball, 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 ball. Here he goes. Ah! Go, 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 go. 